There is a neighborhood in Cambridge, Massachusetts that takes its name from a famous university. Stay tuned to learn more. So the 13 named neighborhoods of Cambridge, Massachusetts include Area 2, otherwise known by the name MIT. And of course, MIT stands for Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And MIT does, in fact, give its name to this neighborhood that stretches out on the Charles River uh, and is the heart of the MIT campus. So it's about a mile long stretch along the river, along Memorial Drive, where you'll find MIT. And then the other borders of the campus and the neighborhood, you might say, are Main Street and Broadway to the east near Kendall Square, and then along Vassar Street that extends uh, from that portion uh, of the neighborhood all the way down towards the uh, other end of campus to the west. So it's, uh, it's a vast area, some 168-acre campus with many buildings. And in 2020, with what's been going on, I've been taking daily walks on the campus and have spent more time at MIT this year on foot just exploring than I ever have before. It's an amazing campus. There's quite a bit to discover and explore there. So let me just hit on a few highlights. First, just to describe MIT, it's consistently ranked in the top 10 universities in the world. I think the most recent US News and World Report uh, put it at number four. It has a very low acceptance rate. I think most recently it was at 7%. There are some 4,500 plus undergraduates on campus that hail from all over the US and the world. And you know, it's no surprise that popular majors here are computer science, mechanical engineering, and mathematics. These are the best of the best uh, who come from all over. And uh, it's an extraordinary student body. And this campus, this neighborhood is where they come to study and where there are so many wonderful buildings. So I wanted to just share with you a few of them. You know, Massachusetts Avenue, Mass Ave, uh, crosses over from Boston via the Harvard Bridge into Cambridge, and immediately you're on the MIT campus. I think most people think of the building, Rogers Building, at 77 Mass Ave as the heart of the MIT campus. This building is known for its distinctive large pillars, and the Rogers Building at 77 Mass Ave gives MIT its mailing address. It's really sort of the heart of the campus with a large crosswalk in front of it. Now, inside, when you step into the Rogers Building, you're at the beginning of the Infinite Corridor, which is an 823 square foot long corridor that lines up uh, lengthwise with the plane of the elliptic twice a year, uh, uh, causing sunlight to fill the corridor. Uh, to create an incredibly amazing effect. So very MIT-esque that there is a corridor this long that has this sunlight uh, pouring through it twice a year, I think in November and January. And uh, so that infinite corridor starts in this building, which uh, is quite special. Mention the crosswalk in front of it. And when you cross over, you are uh, approaching two of the most famous buildings at MIT, the MIT Chapel, which was completed in 1956 by the architect Aero Saarinen. And it's a non-denominational ch uh, chapel. It's a windowless brick cylinder surrounded by a moat. And uh, when you're inside, sunlight can cascade down onto the marble altar, creating a really special um, feeling. It's an incredible space. Uh, so that's one building by Saren. And the other is across the Kresge Oval. And that's the Kresge Auditorium. It was actually completed a year earlier than the chapel in 1955. And it's an eighth of a sphere, the Kresge Auditorium. 
And what distinguishes it is that it meets the ground in three places instead of four. I'm not sure I can think of any other building in the world that uh, is constructed in this fashion. So it has a small theater as well as a pretty good sized concert hall, one with excellent acoustics. And since there are no pillars, um, great sight lines. It's uh, a venue, of course, for many concerts and special events at MIT. And uh, not too far from these buildings is a undergraduate dorm on Vassar Street known as Simmons Hall. It's at 229 Vassar. It's by the architect Stephen Hull, and it was constructed and completed in the year 2002 at a cost of just under $80 million. It's a undergraduate dorm uh, home to 300 plus students, and it's 10 stories tall. It's affectionately known as the sponge. It, as you can see from this picture, has a lot of windows, uh, over 5,500 to be exact, and it's made mainly of reinforced concrete. So it's a building beloved by many architects and uh, not so uh, embraced by many students who have lived there or do live there. So it's a bit controversial as many famous buildings are. And it overlooks Briggs Field, an open green space uh, across Faster Street that is home not only to the MIT softball program, but utilized by 80 club and intramural programs at MIT. So MIT does have sports and uh, many of the, the programs for uh, many uh, intramurals enjoy the use of Briggs Field. Elsewhere on campus, Housed in the Wisner Building by I.M. Pei is the MIT Media Lab, established in 1985, where there is uh, all sorts of research into tech, media, uh, science, art, and design, and those fields as they overlap, be it with matters concerning robots or other things, whole lot of interesting futuristic exploration of tech and uh, things to come are happening at the MIT Media Lab. Along the Charles River on Memorial Drive, there is the MIT uh, Sloan School, which is their business school. And their central building, um, completed in 2010, has a lovely view onto the Charles River and across to Boston. Of course, uh, also on the river is the great dome overlooking Killian Court, uh, which overlooks the Charles River in Boston. And it's this grassy area, Killian Court, where every year the MIT commencement is held. It's a substantial building and it's a strong felt presence on Memorial Drive as you're crossing uh, through campus. It's, uh, it's an incredibly uh, iconic building for the campus. Also down on the river is the MIT Sailing Pavilion. It's the oldest sailing pavilion in the world, completed in 1935. It houses over 110 sailboats, except when they're on the Charles River sailing, which is a sight often seen uh, during season when uh, they're out either for practice or uh, a regatta. Uh, and it's really great to see the active use of the pavilion and the sailboats on the river on a regular basis. As I mentioned, I've been walking the campus quite a bit. And although there are not as many students in 2020 on campus, as is normally the case, it really is still a place where when you're walking around, you can just feel the energy of all the things happening on campus and all the smart people who are there learning and sharing and discovering whatever it is they're studying. So MIT is the other famous university in Cambridge uh, other than Harvard. And it really is an amazing campus. And this neighborhood is incredible. So I hope you'll have a chance like me to explore it and discover all that makes MIT special. My name is Charles Cherney. 
I'm a top real estate agent, and I'm here to help you buy the right home or sell for the best price. I've worked with many MIT uh, professors and persons associated with the MIT family with their real estate needs over the years. And I welcome the opportunity if you have a connection to MIT and are looking to be near the campus to help you find that place to call home. I have other videos on this channel exploring all the neighborhoods of Cambridge. So be sure to check those out and reach out at any time by text, telephone, or email with any questions you have about the market, your home, or the community. Take care.